just to inquire whether they are keeping the reports, whether they are compliant with FT or not. Who will conduct the VAT? The person will be appointed by the Federal Tax Authority itself. It can be their own staff or they're appointed. They're, they can subcontract it to some other person. Usually, most probably, it will be their own staff who will be conducting the audit at your premises, uh, your business premises, or even to your, uh, at your residential areas. Uh, you can, who will conduct the audit? Uh, the tax auditor will be appointed to conduct that audit. The tax auditor, any member of the authority staff appointed as tax auditor. Uh, authority is referred as federal tax authority. You can request the tax auditor. Uh, show the job with once the tax auditor will appear uh, will come to your location you find him uh, you, you see him that you you encounter you've encountered the tax auditor uh, you can ask him to present to you his uh, id that is the tax auditor he is sent from fta and he he, he will usually do it him on him on his own and you can ask for uh, you can obtain the tax notification the person who is going to come it it depends the FDA can send you prior notification or sometimes they, it can be like uh, a surprise audit, depends on them. Because I, I saw that there is this, uh, there was a shop, there is a shop downstairs. They uh, were audited, that, like a, few, a couple of guys came inside to their, uh, inside the shop and they started looking their, at their invoices, at their the products they're displaying, all of that. So that's how they're approaching you. What, what if the, you know, like, so they come in, but I'm not ready. Not me. My paper is home. The owner is not there. The accountant is not there. Can, um, you do it? can I tell yeah. them I mean, the boss is not here? Or the accountant? Of course you can tell them. Mm. You have to uh, present the real picture. If there are things that are not available to you, for example, if you yourself are not available, there is someone else who is uh, in charge over there at your premises in your place. That person can uh, act on your behalf. He, he, he can present the invoices if the tax auditor has asked for invoices. He can present the tax invoices if the tax auditor wants uh, like certain assets at your premises to be inspected. He can uh, the, uh, the person present there can provide the details. Uh, the procedures of tax audit. The audit will start from the notification uh, from the Federal Tax Authority. Usually the notification is, uh, it should take five working days. The notice will be five working days prior to they, they will approach you. In case you're, uh, you're coming, they're, they're, giving, they're coming after the notification. That audit starts with the notification from the Tax Authority. The notification will inform the person subject to audit. The person to be covered under audit at the time of audit. How the authority will notify for the VAT audit? According to federal law 7, 2018, 17 on uh, tax procedures and its article, the right of the authority to perform a tax audit clause 3 if the authority decides to perform a tax audit at the place of business of the person subject to tax audit or any other place where such person conducts his business, stores, goods or gifts towards the authority shall inform him at five business days prior to tax audit. While signing the notice of tax or uh, VAT audit, the auditor shall also state the possible consequences of obstructing the tax auditor in exercise of his duties. Mm, failure to provide, uh, failure to comply his, uh, to, with his requirements, it will result in penalties, heavy penalties, 10,000, 50,000. There, there is an entire list of... What is the minimum uh, penalty amount? Uh, minimum, that depends. For example, it says here, failure to keep record. If he sees that you have failed to keep the records of your invoices of, or, or of your expenses, if you, you fail to keep these records, it, there is 10,000 penalty of that. So that depends. It depends on the situation. It depends on the outcome of the audit. Uh, if if you are compliant, there will be no there will be no penalty if there, if they find any. Uh, any uh, unusual activity, they will always be charged with some penalty. Uh, the 
procedural guidelines how the auditor will uh, how they will notify you they can notify you through post and they can notify you through registered post by electronic email or uh, by uh, sending a notification at your premises about that uh, about the, the a prior notification that they will be coming for the audit. Uh, the means used by the FTA to inform about the bad audit, the authority shall execute the notification by any of the following means. Post, registered post, by electronic mail, posting on the premises of the taxable person, any other mean as may be agreed by the person and the authority. Uh, that's the law. It's uh, Federal Decree Law 7, Clause 36. What documents the web auditor will inspect? He, his scope of work is like uh, all the financial data you are having at your premises. He can inspect anything. It's uh, the premises, the document available at the premises, the assets, even the assets you hold at the premises, they can inspect that as well. The accounting systems, if you're using uh, some softwares, they can uh, use the softwares to assess these soft those softwares as are calculating the correct figures or not. If you have properly configured those softwares or not, they can assess that. Uh, accounting report is, uh, accounting report is when uh, like there is a sequential, for example, uh, the invoices that you issue to your tribes, those should be sequential. Should be like from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the number of invoices that you issued till date. They will get the sequence out of your system or they will ask you to provide. Anyone of you who has gone through uh, this uh, bad refund? Anyone file bad refund? Uh, okay, Killing money, you mean? Yeah. No. Usually, FTA you file. Okay. Usually, what they do is that they will. Uh, when you're going to refund, ask for a refund, and if FTA puts an inquiry, they will uh, they will send you an Excel sheet, and you will have to send them all the data in that Excel sheet in a, a predefined format. You will enter all the data of your sales, all the data of your expenses in that Excel sheet, and then you will send it back to them. That's one first level of audit. The second level is that if they think that there is there is more inquiry required. They will uh, ask you to send hard copies. Copies like scanned copies of your uh, invoices, your expenses. They will select a particular sample from your send it Excel sheet and they will ask you to send them to them for inspection. So these are the documents. All, uh, the accounting system, I covered it. And if the place of audit is a residence or part used as dwellings. Tax auditor shall obtain the prior written consent of the Director General as well as a permit from the Public Prosecutor to be able to enter the part of premises where the premises or part thereof are used as dwelling. In this case, the place is a residential area. Yes. So it was this only for us to refund, or they can ask for the This is for the uh, inquiry. If FTA puts an inquiry on you. Not necessarily. Tax audit. Not necessarily. Uh, Not necessarily for. Uh, for refund. If that one is just an example. If, if one invoice is missing from the uh, serial number, in that yeah. situation, what will they? You should have a, a, a justification for that. For example, if the invoice is missing, you should tell them that why this sequence was changed. If that's you post delete in that situation. Uh, if you deleted the invoice, you should have also. What the reason? Why did you delete it? Why did you skip it? Uh, usually, what happens is you miss the sequence when you have uh, issued a credit note. For example, if you are selling and there is a sales return, you issue a credit note. Then you issue, then you make a different sequence for the credit note. So usually in these scenarios, you can find that there is a bit of uh, difference in the sequence of the device. The scope of audit. It's again. Uh, the premises, th this is what I will discuss, and the assets that are available at the premises, how they can inspect them. Authority can inspect any asset available at the premises, cross-verify with the documents, 
he has the power to redeem and retain person's assets necessary for audit process. But he will provide the details of any document or asset he is removing or retaining. The accounting systems used by the person subject to tax audit. Uh, well, for the premises, the person, the tax auditor can approach you and once he is at your premises, he can check certain assets, he can inspect them and he can ask you to provide the invoice for them. If they are bought newly, whether, whether they can use, use those, you are using those assets for business purpose or they are in the name of some other person you are keeping at your premises, so that, that's their uh, part of job, that's their scope of work that they will do. Uh, yes. Can you explain that that one again? This uh, the the right. check. Uh, for example, if you've bought certain assets in your own name, for example, you you bought a vehicle mm -hmm. and it's in your own name. You're using it in the company. Okay. You cannot use it in the company for business purposes. You cannot claim where from that vehicle right. because that's on your person name. Okay. So the Auditor can uh, inspect that thing as well. Well, if I have a receipt for a car, yes, the receipt is uh, for in the company name, but the car is not there. Will he ask where is the car? Why? Is no, of course not. You, you you should have the just uh, justification for that. For everything that he asks, you should have a solid justification that why is this thing missing and when it will be available. If he is saying that he wants to see the car, mm. for example, in your case then you can tell him that this will be available at this time. Mm. Or it, it, uh, there, there is even, uh, I was reading in the, in the article, that you can even take certain assets from your uh, premises. Before taking those assets, he will notify you that I am going to take these assets for, for our own audit purpose. How many years I you need to keep uh, all this evidence? Uh, there is, it's six months. All the evidence, all the uh, documentary evidence, you should keep. It's six years. Six years. Yes. Years. Yes. So five years or six years. It's six years. It's six. Yeah. All the documents, documents, uh, in, including your invoices, including your expenses, uh, purchases, all that you have claimed, all that you have paid in VAT, you are supposed to keep that for six years in your reports. Failure so, to keep these records will result in 10,000 panic. No, but soft copies are not uh, acceptable. Oh. Like if I scan them and then I destroy the hard copies. Um, soft copy can be kept, but you have to, as a safe measure, you can keep the soft copies. But they, are, they will check the hard copies. They need those. Immaterial things like, uh, for example, you put a petrol in the car for 50 dirhams. You can keep the soft copy. You can provide that to them. But if, for example, a material item, then if, 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 you, if you bought a computer, which is in thousands, you are supposed to have the hard copy for that. Okay, and the record of audit, the scope of that audit. The record for the removal retained documents or assets shall include the following. The purpose for removing the asset or document, the nature of the asset or document also removed, the location where the asset or document is stored and the condition of store, storage, the period extendable for which it is expected to be retained by the authority. All these things I have explained just now. Uh, the authority shall have the power to mark assets for the purpose of indicating that they have been inspected, obtain and record information relating to premises, assets, documents and accounting systems that they that have been Inspected for certain items, they have they have taken uh, certain invoices out of your uh, your invoice reports. They can mark them, they can stamp them uh, that they, they have inspected those items, and that's it. The scope of that audit complying with notification. Uh, where a person has been notified to provide information or documents, the person shall do so within the period specified and by means and in the form determined in the notification where a notification requires a person to provide information or documents. These shall be submitted at any of the following places. 
place agreed upon between the person and the authority, a pla the place determined by the authority provided that this place is treated and not used solely as a dwelling. Once all the documents requested have been provided and the required inspection by the tax auditor is complete, he will complete his audit process and pro report the person subject to audit. Uh, again, that's the same thing that if he is coming to your premises and the premises is a residential premises, he will notify you, uh, he will get the uh, prior notice from, from the Director General and the Public Attorney and then he will be visiting at your dwelling. of VAT audit. Once uh, the VAT audit procedure com is complete, uh, what you should be expecting. Once the inspection and other procedures required by the VAT audit are completed, the auditor has to inform the results within 10 business days from the end of audit. Where the person subject to tax audit is notified of the results of the tax audit, he may request the authority to, re to view, obtain documents and data on which the authority based. Uh, for example, if, 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 if you have received the results of your tax audit and you want it to be reviewed or you want to check what documents were reviewed by the auditor, you can request the, uh, the authority FTA to provide, them, provide you with the reports about which documents the auditor has inspected. Uh, such requests shall be made in writing or through such other form adopted by the authority within 20 business days from the date of the notice provided by the authority and shall provide the requested information within 10 business days in the following manner. A paper or electronic copy of document or data requested, the original document or data requested if such document or data belong to person subject to tax audit who made the request. Uh, electronic copy request you can put through the electronic copy uh, the request and uh, you can uh, the original document can be used uh, or data request if such document or data belong to us. Accountants will be having the utmost responsibility here. Compliance is the main key point. You are required to, for, uh, what I would suggest is that uh, there is a list of liability uh, penalties that FTA will impose in case you are not compliant. Uh, you, can, uh, you can go through these uh, lists and make sure that uh, your premises you are uh, complying with these things. For example, there is a penalty of about 20,000 if you are not displaying. If, you're, if you have a lag at your, uh, at your shop and you are not displaying the prices inclusive, inclusive of tax and the tax auditor is coming uh, is at your premises and he sees that, that all your prices are not inclusive of that, he will charge you with penalty. It's around 20,000 I think. So the, the penalties are the key thing. You can uh, go through the penalties and you can uh, make sure that you are complying with these things to avoid any. Well, the rest, restaurant menu, the menu, the restaurant. Yeah, it should be inclusive of that. Should be. Yes. What about wholesale uh, businesses? They cannot display prices uh, or if they have... If you're, they're sending you a quotation, it should state that it, the prices are inclusive of that. Only in quotation. Everywhere for public dis display, <laughs> once uh, the price of the product or services, they should display uh, that the prices are inclusive of that. One other compliance, uh, an example of compliance is that your tax invoice should comply with that. Uh, the tax, how it will, it can comply, there, there is certain format that FT has given that your tax invoice should be like this, the tax invoice should be written in bold, uh, <coughs> and there should, it should be, it should mention that the figures are in Emirates, there are it should state that the uh, if it invoice in different currency, <coughs> it should state that the currency rate at that date was this, and it was taken from uh, uh, from the bank central bank exchange. So where, where do we get the standard the invoice? How should it be? Sorry, the standard. Where is it available? Uh, you can. It's it's I believe the clause 59 of Federal Decree Law Number 8. Uh, we can provide you that later. I can I, I, after the check. 